Hey guys, I have Robin here and she came all the way from uh, Virginia for uh, reversing her restless legs and she's doing awesome, right? You're yes. just like five days, six days out and that right leg we already did, how much better would you say? I would say about 90, 95% better. 90, 95%. And she also had a little bit of a drop foot, yes. which is also way better. So uh, so she's doing awesome. I'm going to get ready to do the other leg, left leg. I want to show you really quick. This is an area of the leg where there's a nerve called a superficial perineal nerve. And it is a nerve that is implicated with your restless legs. And if you look up here, if you really zoom in on the screen, that black round circle, kind of see it right there, that is the, the, the nerve. And as we come down the leg, it's getting flatter and flatter. What's going on is that white layer above it, that's called the fascia, and it's very tight connective tissue. When it gets down to this level of the leg, it's actually poking through the fascia and that's the nerve tunnel. And what we're doing when we do this surgery, before we do it, we plan where we want to make our incision based upon where this looks like it's coming through the fascia. So when I go back up, it's nice and round. If you look down here, I'm going up the leg as I come down towards your ankle, it's getting flatter. And you can see my point with this is you physically are seeing that there's compression, that fascia is pushing down on that nerve. And so when we go in and do surgery, all we're going to be doing is I'll move this away now. I'll show you if, if the, my pin here is the nerve and this, let's say this is the fascia over here. All I'm doing is it's poking through and that would be the nerve. And I'm just opening up the tissue going up the leg to get rid of the pressure. So anyway, that's what we do when we open that up. I'm just showing you physically there's something going on with that nerve being compressed. And you can see it on the ultrasound. So a little bit more evidence for you to understand that this is a compression problem with your restless legs. Thank you for watching.